what is going to happen to crypto and Bitcoin as a result of these US elections. Today we're going to look at a range of different scenarios, exactly what we can expect depending on different results and we'll also cover some other factors that you should be paying attention to. But before we continue, I thought I would make it very, very clear that this is not a political channel. This is a crypto YouTube channel, nor if you couldn't tell from the accent, am I from the US. So just to be super clear, I will not be voting. However, at the highest level, I am personally a crypto investor. So it is in my best interest to pay attention to what is actually going on. And in a previous video around a month or two back, I did briefly talk about Trump being elected and what this could mean for the market. So I'll leave a link in the description to that. So with the boring stuff out of the way, let's get into it. Over the last couple of months, we have seen both Trump and Harris try to win votes from the crypto bros. Now, in my opinion, I do believe this makes a lot of sense for Trump just due to the generic demographics of people within crypto, mostly being male. Recently, we've seen Donald Trump talk about bringing Bitcoin mining to the US and completely embracing it. We've also seen him appear at a Bitcoin conference in Nashville shortly after the assassination attempt. And more recently, we've seen him release his own token, which is called World Liberty Financial. However, on the other side of things, we have also seen Kamala Harris make some comments on crypto. She has talked about crypto in a relatively positive manner, and I do believe this is massively due to the fact that getting young male votes and also getting big donations is crucial to their campaigns. However, it does feel like she didn't quite get the same traction or love as Trump from the crypto community. And I do believe that a big part of this could have been due to some of her comments being questioned or even laughed at. One example lies within the opportunity agenda for black men, where many people were making memes and questioning one of the bold statements around crypto. So in the documentation by Kamala Harris's team, it says that supporting a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency and other digital assets so black men who invest in and own these assets are protected. So as you can probably imagine, the public took to Twitter and started to create memes and asked the question, well, what about the protection levels for white men? What about white women? You know, these kinds of questions, whether you think they are right or wrong, were certainly going to rise and be talked about. With many of the crypto bros leaning in favor of Donald Trump, we have to ask the question, is he just saying what we want to hear? And the unbiased answer here is probably yes. I mean, isn't that what all politicians do anyway, regardless of the country you are from? But one thing that can't be denied is that Trump is initially a businessman and he does prioritize putting the markets, the financial markets first. And at the time of recording at 7 a.m. Eastern time on November 5th, Polymarket is still showing that Donald Trump is a favorite in the race with a 62.3% chance. However, for the fellow European watchers, we probably will wake up tomorrow to find the results rather than this evening. Now we move on to the big question. Well, Two questions. What happens if Trump wins? What happens if Harris wins? Well, the general high level consensus here across participants in the market is that if Trump wins, the market goes up. And if Harris wins, the market goes down. However, I do believe there is a little more to it. It isn't quite that simple. And this tweet that I found here sums it up pretty perfectly in my opinion. So Kruger Macro or Alex Kruger has put together a simple election framework for Bitcoin, which looks like this. So if Trump wins, Bitcoin can be expected to be at around 90K by the end of the year with a probability here of around 55%. However, if Harris is to win, then Bitcoin could be at around 65K by the end of the year with a probability of 45%. The weighted average lies at around 79K. And if Trump is to win, we should expect the move to be relatively fast as the market rarely waits for laggards on binary events, not largely front run. 
The second tweet in the thread also touches on this. So if Trump wins, straight up we go. And if Harris is to win, we go down first and then eventually up. And ultimately, I think many people would agree that the future is bright for Bitcoin. And simply put, whoever wins this election is not going to impact the end price of Bitcoin. It's simply going to affect how fast we get there. I mean, let's look at the facts here. Bitcoin is a decentralized currency and we have got this far without any kind of help or endorsement from any government. So I'm pretty sure that in the long term, Bitcoin is going to be absolutely fine. But I do completely understand that many of you probably want to see 100k per Bitcoin as soon as possible. But that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Comment and let me know what you think is going to be the outcome of these US elections. In the meantime, please don't forget to trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.